Did you know this? White men and women will no longer be the majority in the United States just three decades from now. That's the new prediction from the U.S. Census Bureau. It reports that by 2043, there will be no majority groups at all as the percentage of non-Hispanic white Americans falls below 50%. 2043 is actually one year later than previous predictions. But the demos are changing even more quickly for kids. The numbers show that by the end of this decade, no single race will be a majority among kids under 18. Joining me now, a global analyst on immigration and dean of UCLA's Graduate School of Education and Information Studies, Marcelo Suarez Orozco. Good to see you, sir. Thank you, Gretchen. All right, so when we look at these uh, census numbers, America's always been known as the melting pot. I guess officially uh, we're still the melting pot, right? Yes, I think the data tell the story of a changing American demography and a future that will look uh, in some ways like our past, but in other ways it will look different. Mm -hmm. It's interesting politically because in just the election last month, President Obama received 78 percent of the non-white vote. Uh, how do you see this factoring in ramifications politically moving forward? Well, both parties will have to rethink and redouble their efforts to connect with what will, moving forward, be our fastest growing demographic. Uh, I think that uh, everyone is looking at the Latino origin population of the United States. Mm -hmm. uh, Latinos voted in very large numbers right. for George W. Bush in the first election, mm -hmm. uh, and that has changed. Uh, so the elephant in the room, so to speak, is will uh, the parties be able to maintain uh, a muscular connection right. with a demographic that will become increasingly important moving forward. Yeah, it's interesting because when you look at this report for 2043, it is Hispanics who will gain uh, the biggest in numbers. They will go from 14.7 percent to 31 uh, percent. African Americans will be 14.7 percent. Asians will go from 5 to 8 percent. Whites will go down to 43 uh, percent. Social implications, I'm interested in your thoughts on this. You know, there's a lot of discussion about minorities. Uh, getting into colleges, having access for certain things. Will whites then at some point be, will they have a minority status? Well, Gretchen, the most significant social implication of these data are that we are going to need to connect via education with these new uh, Americans. The, the, the fastest growing sector now of our, of our population uh, is the U.S. born citizen children of immigrants. Mm -hmm. We need to make sure that these children, Gretchen, have the education, they have the tools, they have the, 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 the cognitive, the metacognitive skills mm -hmm. uh, to, uh, to thrive in, uh, in uh, the economy uh, with the jobs of the future. Right. That's our real challenge. Our real challenge as a society is making sure the kids, the new, our new little, uh, newest Americans have all the tools they're going to need for the jobs of the 21st century. Yep. And that's where we really need to focus our energy. I, I understand that. I have a seven and a nine-year-old, so I get it. Uh, Marcelo Suarez Orozco, thanks for your thoughts.